Hello everybody, how's it going? Carl here, uh, aka Squeezilla. And, um, yeah, as you probably saw by the title of this video, um, a bit of a crap one to talk about, really. So, about, uh, about a month ago now, um, yeah, about one month ago now, uh, my dad passed away, which was incredibly hard um, it's been one of the hardest things I've had to deal with um, in all honesty and I'm still not really come to terms with it in all honesty it's been a really really difficult it's been really difficult. Um, so my dad, Anthony, okay, Tony, um, Tony Wilkinson, AJ Wilkinson, um, James, I think it was his middle name. I'm trying to think now. It's, again, it's one of those things that just, you know, it, it's still just really raw. Um, we were. He um, had shingles last year. The end of last year and was a bit unwell from that and we talked January the 20th so you know t two months ago now two months ago that's the last time we talked properly and he was pretty fine you know he was a little bit tired he was a little bit unwell but he um he was he, he was recovering from from shingles and he was waiting to go to the hospital to get a checkup um, because the doctor had seen something uh, with his heart and they had expected uh, the possibility of angina. And, um, you know, that was a bit of a hard one for me to actually come to terms with because I lost my stepdad due to angina. Uh, that's where I get my, my the withy part of my surname from. Um, I took my stepdad's surname um, because you know it's my mother's surname as well. Um, but I I sort of took the surname of Withy uh, when I moved to Australia, and it, you know it's, it's my stepdad was a huge part of my life, and he died in ninety seven from a heart attack, and that really. That, that was a very hard thing to deal with for me. Um, you know, I was still, I was, you know, only 11 years old when he passed away. And it was very difficult to deal with. But me and my dad always had a fantastic relationship. We got on so very well. And we got up to so many adventures. One, one of the fondest memories I have, I'll pop up a picture of it now, was our time as he was in the Coast Guard, so he was a he was a member of the Coast Guard for many many years and saved many lives and uh, protected the coastline of Swanage off of Peveril Point for an awful long time. Um, and he did, you know, he did a lot of work, a lot of good for that, and saving people on the cliff rescue and all this kind of stuff. But we used to spend many uh, winter winter's day up at the Coast Guard hub on Peveril Point. And we got up there and there was an old World War II um, gun emplacement up on the up on Peveril Point itself. Of course it's a fairly decent tactical spot for it. Um, as it looks over Swanage Bay. And you know, I spent many hours, you know, mooching around there, and just that was just a normal part of my weekend, really, going to Pev Pev Point and going to the Coast Guard hut and sitting up there and keeping an eye on the bay and watching out for any boats in trouble and watching out for any grockles, as we called them, or, or you know, holiday makers that got into trouble. And we used to spend many, oh god, many hours 
you know, protecting Swanage effectively, and that was a big part of his, big part of him. Uh, my dad was a brickie. He was a he was a bricklayer uh, for a long time. He worked over in Germany and all over the place. But you know, if you go to anywhere in Swanage, you'll see lots of dry stone walls, which he built, and he did a lot of that. Um, he did a lot of dry stone walls. Um, and he did an awful lot of work and built an awful lot of places and you know we spent many times I learned a lot from him in um, in bricklaying and you know in, in the actual art of you know masonry and all that kind of stuff I see your tracking skills are as sharp as ever I'm uh, sure you're going to enjoy your hunts here and as I say, it was a big, big part of our, big part of my, my growing up. Um, years spent with Dad, and we we built many things, and we did lots of work and stuff like that. And um, you know, I learned how to lay out bricks and doing mortar work and stone work and all that kind of stuff, and a lot of life skills. Anyway. Um, we had a great time, you know, me and Dad, we, he took me to my first Le Mans and uh, my motor racing comes from my stepdad, Pete. He got me interested in motorsport and got me, effectively got me the job at Penske um, because the, the receptionist knew Pete um, and knew Pete Withy and, you know, got me the job at Penske and, you know, that was a big, big part of it. But I always said to Dad, you know, it's like, I was very lucky to have two dads that I loved dearly and they, they were big parts of my life growing up. They both taught me different things, you know. Pete taught me about the mechanics of a car, Dad taught me about bricklaying and general so much more. Um, so we went to Le Mans and you know like, that was an amazing experience and you know it was such a fantastic time and we just you know, we, 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 we had a great, we always had great times together, and, you know, Dad's second wife, Maggie, um, lovely, lovely woman, and, you know, very good cook, and, uh, you know, like, so many fond memories of that aspect of my life. Obviously, moving out to Australia was, was a bit hard, because, you know, it was a big change, and, you know that that made things a little bit difficult and it made things tricky between me and dad but it actually grew our relationship and we got closer as strange as it sounds we we grew closer when i moved to australia we talked so much more and we would talk every week and honestly that's been one of the hardest things for me to get over is the fact i don't have him to talk to and just you know waffle on about crap with we we had so many similar opinions. Um, we we always had the same same thoughts. So it was great to chat to him, and we would have definitely put the worlds to right with the recent invasion by Russia. Um, you know, it's, we 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 talked military stuff. We talked so much. You know, I spent most of my life at the tank museum with Dad. You know, in Bovington and stuff like that. And, you know, that's the things that I treasure so much with him. But when I first moved over to Australia, obviously it was difficult because, you know, we didn't have, um, didn't have, um, con contact wasn't as easy back then, of course. Um, you know, it was, it was a tad difficult because you know, we didn't have the, the internet wasn't quite as big back in 2005, you know, Skype was kind of a thing that was starting to come in, but then Facebook came in and Messenger, and it meant that we could talk via video calls. And we, we would spend hours talking via video call every week almost you know every week I've talked to dad and had done for the past 15 years 
and as I said that was just a normal everyday thing for me uh, he was a great supporter of me and looked after me so much he you know without him I would be struggling more than I am now but you know he really you know he was there for me so much of the time um, times when I spent in hospital he was there for me and he he was there for me when I was in dire straits uh, when I was coming off of methadone for pain relief and it grew us closer to each other and he had to witness me going through the horrible withdrawal symptoms and see me on death's door many a time unfortunately he had to witness that so many times and I always felt so bad for him but he was always you know he was always there when it needed to be and you know always there when when he he was always there when when I needed a hand um, and he he supported me so much and you know for that I'm eternally thankful and as I said he had to witness me going through so much you know I was in hospital for a good three months at one stage and he would message me every day and make sure I was doing okay and despite the fact that he was in England and I was in Australia he was always there when I needed help and needed somebody to talk to and it just you know it, he was really you know pinnacle in getting me places and he was a great supporter of my channel as well and m me doing commentary for sim racing things like that he supported me no end for that and you know it was just really really helpful um, you know he loved chatting about you know anything with me in that respect and I would talk for hours about military history to him and all this kind of stuff and we'd play off each other and it was always a good conversation anyway cutting a long story short he um, he got diagnosed with liver cancer um, at the start, well, sort of mid-February and from finding out that his passing was less than a week pretty much um, found out that he had liver cancer and he spent a little bit of time in hospital but he was, you know, luckily um, Maggie's daughters and son Adam, Kathleen and Amy were there for him and able to keep him at his house so he had he could spend his time in his beautiful home up near Delston Castle a beautiful part of Swanage and as I said from finding out to him Parson was about a week and a half maybe less and you know I think I do wonder if he maybe didn't tell me a bit sooner just so I didn't rush over to England because I think he knew that I would and you know which is fair enough he didn't want me he didn't want me brushing over there and how far am I those piggies um, he didn't want me rushing over there and you know it would have been a lot of money and you know, as I said, you know, he was always there when I needed him to be. And um, I wish I could have been there for him, but it, luckily, as I said, Kathleen, Amy and Adam were there for him, as well as Maggie, of course, and they were there for Maggie as well. Um, and we talked a couple of final times over, you know, video chat, and the night before... Well, day day night I can't remember when it was but you know a few hours it's been about half maybe about 17 hours before he passed away um, I got to talk to him over video chat and we just had a lovely chat and 
he, d he couldn't respond unfortunately because he was out of it um, the, the lightweight that he was was on some morphine and I was there joking away about how how he was on such a little amount of morphine that he was a bit of a lightweight but but um, it was it, you know that that was kind of our humor I guess it was a big part of our old humor is you know the gallows humor I guess you can call it um, you know we were always part of always good for dark humour um, that was one of the big things with dad he was always a, a fond fan of um, dark humour and you know I hope, I hope he had a good laugh when, I, I, when we talked about that and uh yeah, I, I hope he enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, that was the last time I got to speak to him, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, shortly after that, he passed away. Um, passed away from liver cancer. He was 71 when he passed away. And you know, it was his 72nd birthday about a week after he, he passed away. And it's been very hard for me to, to comprehend, as I said, it's been a really difficult time and it's kind of been a while I've been a bit quiet making video content recently and just needed a bit of time just to, well, just to come to grasp with everything, I guess. Um, and I've been so lucky in the fact I've had some wonderful people in the community just looking after me and keeping me keeping me strong um, you know from the sim racing community um, they've been so good to me the, the day that he died a couple of hours after he passed away um, I had a race to call and obviously you know the boys were very much saying, "Look, don't worry, we, we've got this. You, you don't need to, you don't need to worry about, you know, doing commentary or this kind of stuff." And I'm like, "No, he would have wanted it because he used to, he used to tune in and watch them, and I wanted to make sure he had something to watch wherever he was going on his next journey." And yeah, that's kind of been why I've been a bit quiet, in all honesty, is just you know trying to come to terms with what's happened and it's been a real struggle um, as you know if you're a long time subscriber I know I've got a fair few new subscribers and thank you for that but uh, granddad passed away um, back in 20 I think it was 2019 and you know that was hard to come to terms with of course you know that was that wasn't easy but it was he was in his mid 90s and he'd been a bit sick for a long time and you know we would talked and he'd been struggling he'd been suffering and you know it was it was kind of a a relief that he didn't suffer as long as he had to um but with dad it was so sudden and so quick that it's been hard to really accept that he's gone and I've still not really come to terms with it um, I don't think I've fully accepted it I've, and it's been as I said it's just been hard because you know trying to come to terms with the fact that he's gone has been really difficult and you know, those last few hours, again, was very difficult seeing him there, so struggling, you know, struggling so much, and it was sad as it was, as horrible as it sounds, it was a relief to see him go when he did, 
I didn't want to see him go, but it was a relief to see him go because he yeah uh, he was really you know he he really put up a good bloody fight. Um, but he he you know he wasn't going to make it you know and. And you know that that was hard to it was hard to you know just just sort of say it, I guess, um but I'm glad he didn't have to suffer too long, but yeah, that's kind of why I've been a bit quiet recently. And I know you guys will understand, and I thank you all for your support. I, a few of you, you know, you've been really amazing towards me, and it's been a great help, and it really has got me through this time. And I plan on getting back to normal contacts, normal contacts, normal content soon. You know, it's definitely, you know, it's coming back. I've been focusing a bit more on sim racing recently, just because I just, as I said, not really had the ability to to do much else. Um, my HMAS Yara video was the last video I managed to make that he saw, and it's kind of it's, it sounds stupid, I know, but I kind of don't want to make another one because he's never going to see it and it's bloody hard to accept that he you know last few messages we shared with each other was about the Yara and he was really excited about the video and you know he was excited he was interested about the story he'd never heard about it before and he was fascinated by it and as I said we got chatting about it and he was really interested and he was looking forward to it coming out and you know that video is going to mean a lot to me I'm sure for the rest of my life now it's going to be a big one for me much like the one I did on Grandad but I don't know this one has been a bit more of a it's been a bit more of a Yarrow was a bit bigger in that respect because it was, well, you know, it was very much the final video that he's gonna, he was part of with me. And, yeah, you know, it's just been hard, as you can imagine. And it's been hard not being there. And I think that's the hardest thing is the fact I can't be there, I couldn't be there for him. Um, really, it really made things difficult to come to acceptances, and I still feel like I, I failed him, and you know, and Maggie, I feel like I've really not. I, I should have done more. Or I could have done more. And yeah it's just bloody hard and just needed to make this video to sort of say goodbye to him because I've not actually said that yet I've not said the words goodbye dad um, even when we're talking so yeah not, not the kind of video I wanted to make but I just kind of needed to make it just to get it out of my system I guess and let you all know what's going on but Goodbye, Dad. You really, really helped my channel, and you really helped me grow as a creator, and really helped me grow. And love you for that eternally. And wherever it is you've ended up, you know, I keep on doing what I do. Thank you for all your support over the years, and. I will make sure to keep up the work and the good effort for you, mate. Because I know that's what you would have wanted and you would have enjoyed. So, 
yeah I guess that's it for today guys um, I'll be back with some proper content soon um, but thank you all for your support through this time I really appreciate it and yeah thank you so much for for watching until the end I guess uh, again really appreciate it I will see you all again soon and until next time this is me Carl with the Wilkinson wishing you all a wonderful day and saying goodbye to the final time to my dad AJ Wilkinson I will miss you immensely and thank you for everything you've done.